Imagine waking up in a world where your history teacher is a hologram, your math tutor is an AI, and your classroom is TikTok. Sounds like sci-fi, right? Well, buckle up, science enthusiasts, because that future is closer than you think. And trust me, it's going to blow your mind, or maybe short-circuit it. Hey there, my curious quarks and inquisitive isotopes. Theodore here, your slightly jaded guide to the wild world of science and tech. Today, we're diving headfirst into the dizzying realm of educational technology. We've got AI teaching assistants, time-traveling VR history lessons, and brace yourselves, TikTok as a legitimate learning platform. Yeah, you heard that right. So grab your digital pencils and power up your neural interfaces, because class is about to begin. And trust me, it's nothing like what you remember from school. Hey there, ready to dive into the world of EdTech in 2024. You've sent over a really interesting mix of articles, reports, even some comments. So let's unpack this and see what's shaking up the future of learning. It's like we're standing at the foot of this massive mountain of information. Yeah, absolutely. We've got trend reports, Apple's massive impact report. They're everywhere these days. And even some insights from developers working right in the thick of it. Where do you even start with something like this? Well, a bird's eye view is always helpful, right? For sure. You've probably noticed that things in education have been changing dramatically, especially with the whole push for online learning. Yeah, and it's not just a passing fad. I mean, we see huge investments pouring into ed tech. Remember that whopping $181 billion projection by 2025? Hmm. It's clear this is a wave, not a ripple. Right, and it gets even more interesting when you see that the focus is shifting from just passively soaking up information to actually using what you learn. Think digital skills and real world application stuff you can actually use. Which brings us to everyone's favorite topic, AI. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of buzz, some apprehension. Is it going to replace teachers altogether? That cult of pedagogy article you sent really hit the nail on the head, though. Mm -hmm. Instead of thinking of AI as a teacher replacement, what if it was more like having a superpowered teaching assistant? Imagine AI generating rough drafts or lesson plans based on different learning styles, giving you more time to focus on individual student needs. Absolutely. And it gets even more exciting when you consider personalization. Inoxsoft, that software development company, really highlighted how AI can tailor lessons for each student. Think about how much time you spend trying to cater to different learning styles in your classroom. Could AI take on that heavy lifting personalizing lessons so each student gets exactly what they need? We're already seeing this in action with things like Carnegie Learning's Cognitive Tutor. Mm -hmm. It's an AI program that actually adjusts to each student's performance, yeah. essentially creating a custom learning path for everyone. It's amazing. How cool is that? Yeah, it's incredible. Okay, so we've established that AI is probably gonna be a helpful partner, not a classroom conqueror. But what about all the hype around VR? The metaverse, digital twins, are those just flashy buzzwords or is there something substantial there? Right. Deloitte seems to think VR is a game changer. They argue that it can completely change how we approach learning, taking us way beyond what we can do with traditional textbooks. And you can see why, right? Oh, absolutely. Instead of just reading about ancient Rome, imagine walking through a virtual Colosseum or dissecting a digital frog instead of just looking at diagrams. Talk about bringing learning to life. For sure. Inoxoft actually takes this even further with something called digital twins. It's basically using VR and AR to create these incredibly realistic simulations. Imagine if you could learn engineering by virtually building and testing structures without any real world risks. Of course, it's not all sunshine and roses. Inoxoft also points out the elephant in the room, the cost. Implementing all this fancy AR and VR tech isn't exactly cheap. So while the potential is huge, it's not like we can just snapple fingers and transport every classroom into the metaverse. At least not yet. Yeah, that's a good point. Speaking of big players in the ed tech space, let's talk about Apple. Their 2024 education impact report is jam packed with information. And it's obvious they're making some big moves globally. Yeah. One thing that stood out in their report is their commitment to something they call educator development. They're investing heavily in making sure teachers have the training and support to really maximize the potential of technology in their classrooms. 
Which makes perfect sense, right? Okay. What good is a fancy new gadget if you don't know how to use it effectively? Right. And this resonates with you as a learner too, right? We all appreciate good, effective instruction. And a lot of that comes down to having well-equipped educators. And they're not just talking the talk. They're backing it up with some pretty incredible initiatives. You've probably heard of historically black colleges and universities or HBCUs. Apple's Racial Equity and Justice Initiative is doing some really interesting work by partnering with organizations like the Propel Center to support these institutions and provide more access to tech and opportunities. It's like they're trying to level the playing field and make sure everyone has a seat at the table, which is really important in the tech world. They're also working with the New York Public Library on their Tech Connect program, offering free technology classes to bridge the digital literacy gap. Mm -hmm. Because let's face it, in today's world, having those digital skills is pretty essential, would you say? Oh, absolutely. One of their programs that really caught my eye focuses on podcasting for non-native English speakers. Talk about a unique way to use technology to address a specific need and empower people to share their voices. That's incredible. But it's not all about classrooms and institutions, is it? Apple's report actually highlighted a really interesting trend, the rise of out-of-school time learning. Yeah, definitely. It's true, isn't it? It is. Learning isn't just confined to classrooms anymore. It's everywhere you look. And Apple's supporting this shift with programs like their partnership with Code, with Clossy. They're doing incredible work empowering young women to get into tech fields. Oh, absolutely. And their track record is amazing. The number of young women from their program who end up pursuing STEM careers is seriously impressive. For sure. It just goes to show how important it is to create supportive communities, get young people excited about tech, and Code with Classy is definitely doing that. Absolutely. But it's not just these big organizations making a difference. Take the Motor City Can Code and create initiative in Detroit, for example. Right. They're bringing together a whole bunch of different groups to create all sorts of cool tech learning experiences. It's inspiring. Right? Yeah, it is. It's not just about the technology itself. It's about how we use it to make learning more engaging, more accessible, and more relevant to people's lives. Exactly. And that got us thinking about what the future holds for EdTech, what comes after AI assistance and virtual labs. And Oxoft actually had some pretty intriguing predictions in their report. They think that unconventional e-learning is going to explode. Think TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, even those platforms becoming legitimate learning spaces. Hold up, are we seriously considering TikTok as a classroom? I mean, sure, I've learned some killer dance moves there, but calculus? Then again, if it means never having to sit through another mind-numbing lecture on logarithms, maybe I'm on board. But let's be real. How do we make sure little Timmy is actually learning algebra and not just perfecting his lip-syncing skills? It makes sense when you think about it. Right. Those platforms are already hugely popular, especially with younger generations. Why not leverage that engagement for learning? And I don't just mean passively watching videos either. Right. Imagine interactive learning experiences built right into those platforms, connecting with experts, participating in challenges, joining communities of learners from all over the world. The possibilities are pretty mind-blowing when you start thinking about it that way. It really is. What else did Inoxsoft have on their radar? Well, they also predict a huge surge in the use of intelligent chatbots for learning, similar to what Duolingo is already doing for language learning. Right. Instead of just memorizing vocabulary from a textbook, imagine having a personalized AI tutor who can answer your questions in real time, adjust to your learning style, and give you instant feedback. And it's not limited to languages either. Imagine having AI chatbots for math, science, history, any subject you can think of. It could revolutionize the way we approach tutoring and personalized learning. Remember all that buzz about AI in the classroom? Uh -huh. This takes it to a whole new level. Exactly. It's a really fascinating glimpse into what personalized learning could look like in the not-so-distant future. It makes you wonder about those other futuristic technologies we talked about earlier, VR, digital twins. Personally, I think they have a huge EE role to play. As the technology becomes more affordable and accessible, we're going to see even more creative and effective ways to use it in education. Imagine medical students practicing complex surgeries in a virtual operating room, completely risk-free, or history students virtually stepping back in time to witness key historical events firsthand. It could fundamentally change how we learn and understand the world around us. Absolutely. Okay, let's take a breather and break this down. 
We're basically talking about turning education into a high-tech video game, right? Imagine learning about ancient Rome by actually walking through a virtual coliseum, or understanding complex surgery by practicing on a digital patient. It's like we're finally making learning as addictive as those mobile games that keep you up at 3 a.m. The question is, are we enhancing education or just making it flashier? Of course, we can't get so caught up in the excitement of these new technologies that we forget about the bigger picture. What about equity and access? It's a good point. All this amazing technology doesn't mean a thing if it's not available to everyone. Exactly. Bridging the digital divide and ensuring equitable access to technology and quality education is crucial. And it's encouraging to see organizations like Apple, the Propel Center, and the New York Public Library actively working to address these issues. Yeah. It's an ongoing challenge for sure, but it's inspiring to see so many people committed to making a difference and leveling the playing field when it comes to technology and education. So where does that leave us after this whirlwind tour of the EdTech landscape in 2024? One thing's for certain, the future of learning is dynamic, it's engaging, and it's brimming with possibilities. It really is. It's not just about passively observing these trends, though. It's about actively engaging with them, questioning them, and shaping them to create a future of learning that works for everyone. And that's where you come in. This entire deep dive has been about exploring this incredible landscape of ed tech in 2024, and it's clear that technology is playing a huge role in shaping how we learn and teach. Because ultimately, the future of learning isn't something that just happens to us. It's something we actively shape. So go out there and explore. Experiment with new tools, connect with other educators, and never stop learning. The future of education is in your hands. And we can't wait to see what you do with it. There you have it, my scientifically inclined squad. The future of education, where classrooms are virtual, teachers might be AI, and TikTok could be your next academic advisor. It's exciting, it's terrifying, and it's probably inevitable. But remember, all the VR and AI in the world can't replace the most powerful learning tool, that beautiful, bizarre brain of yours. So keep it charged, keep it curious, and who knows, maybe one day, you'll be the one programming our VR history lessons or coding the next generation of AI teachers. Until next time, stay curious, stay skeptical, and for the love of science, don't try to time travel in history class. Paradoxes are a pain to grade. This is Theodore, signing off. Yeah.